this is Retirement Dreams. I'm your host, Greg Kellogg. This week's blog was supposed to be about Ecuador, and it would have been except that we had a small family situation where Janie had to fly up to Michigan to spend some time with her mom, so I spent all day yesterday um, driving up to Austin to drop her off at the airport. So today we're going to cover a topic that was actually... Um, suggested by one of our, our viewers. Uh, Marina, thank you for the suggestions. I'm trying uh, to look straight at the microphone, I mean, to the camera, but it's hard. And I can't do anything about the window in the background. That's just the way it's going to be. So anyway, Marina recommended that I talk a little bit about, um, you know, what made me come to the decision to retire, uh, some of the considerations we have, and uh, so we'll spend a little time today talking about how you know when it's time to retire, can you retire, and what you should do when you do retire. Today's episode is sponsored by uh, Coffee and More out of Ingleside. They're uh, located on Main Street. They're part of the Agate Ministries. Uh, they don't even know they're sponsoring me. This is unpaid, but I got to tell you, Janie picked up a couple muffins, a chocolate uh, chip muffin, and a blueberry muffin yesterday, and, and I just had the blueberry muffin today, microwaved it for 20 seconds, split it in half, put butter on, on uh, both halves, and it was so moist and tender still that it was falling apart in my hands. It was so good. I didn't even want to leave leftovers for the puppy, but knowing me, you know I did. Anyway, today's, uh, today's blog post is sponsored by them, even though they don't know they're sponsoring it. If you're in the Ingleside area, get over there and, and support them. It's local business in there. I, I can't talk about the coffee because I don't drink it, but why they're, retire? They're why did I decide at outstanding. this time in my life to retire? I could have gone to 66 and a half. I'm going to actually retire at 63 in two months. Um, there's several reasons. Um, retirement's not about age. It really isn't. There are people I know that are well-to-do, that will continue working into their 70s just because they love to work. Me, I've worked, uh, I've worked hard my entire life. I've worked, I was in the military 10 years. Uh, when I got out, I did a lot of defense contracting. I went to work for Fox Sports for one year um, and then back into computing. And um, frankly, the decision to retire is because I'm just tired of thinking. The computing industry means you have to literally learn new things every single day. Um, and there are massive changes every year and a half to three years. So, you know, if you just stick with your current skill set, you're outdated and you, you can't continue. Well, frankly, I'm just tired of, of learning new things. I want to just relax and not think for a while. And I don't want to actually, you know, financially, I'm secure enough that I don't have to. And I think that's a big key. And I, I'm going to recommend that those of you that are uh, 35 or younger, go back and look at my Start Saving blog, the first one, because if you want to be in the situation where I am, where you can retire early, um, you need to start planning today. You can't wait till tomorrow. You can't wait till next week. If you put it off, you'll put it off forever. I put it off till I was 35. Um, and it, it makes it that much harder. Whereas if you just start putting a little bit away today and then increase it when you can, you're going to find out that when you're 45 or 50, if you really want to quit working, you can. And if you want to keep working, you're building a really nice nest egg for your kids and for your, uh, you know, the people you leave behind, your wife, your spouse, your kids, anybody you want to leave it to. If you want to leave it to charity, that's fine too. Uh, but you have to have the finances to retire. Like I said, retirement isn't about age. It's about finances. If you, uh, if you don't have the money, you're not going to be able to live a, a lifestyle that you'd like to live. Now, how did we choose? Um, and I say we because when I retire, I could just vegetate on the couch, watch TV, read books, maybe once in a while go outside and check the mail. I'd be perfectly happy doing that. Um, a lot of people think that I'd get bored really quick. Probably not. I just don't think I would. But that said, I'm married. And I've been married for 41 years to the most wonderful person I've ever met in my life. And she likes to travel, and I like to travel. I enjoy traveling, especially when I travel with her. 
So we decided that we wanted to, at least the first five years of our retirement, look at the world and see things we haven't seen, meet people we haven't met, and go places we haven't gone. So I told you a little bit about the Philippines because that was the first place we visited uh, to see if we might want to retire there. Now, when I say retire there, for us, that means one year. We're going to spend one year in a foreign country And from there, we're going to use that as a hopping off point where we can go different places. Now, everything is going to be dependent on cost because I am not going to make in retirement the money I make now. Nobody does. Um, But I will make decent money. And the way the market's going right now, it'll be pretty much better than decent. So anyway, just so you know, I am planning to retire uh, with an income of approximately $70,000 a year. Now, I got there because of the Start Saving video, so please check it out. I I can't say that enough. It's critical that you plan for your retirement. Otherwise, you're going to get into your 50s and 60s, and you're going to be saying, oh, no, what now? And I don't want that for anybody. So that said, um, we checked out several places, uh, some of it online, some of it we actually spent two or three weeks visiting. We went to Belize. Belize has strengths. There's a video on Philippines. There's a video on Belize. There's blog posts on both. The videos typically have more video and more pictures, um, but cover pretty much the same thing. The blog posts have more information. I get a lot deeper into the costs and things like that and, uh, you know, the, the lifestyles, what to see while you're there. So take your time, go through the videos. Um, Our next stop, we were going to go to Costa Rica. Um, That got put on hold. We did go to Ecuador. I'm going to throw an Ecuador video next week when I have the whole weekend to do it, unless I have to go pick up Janie over the weekend, because it's basically a three, three and a half hour drive to pick her up. Um, It just uh, up to Austin. It's uh, each way. So whether she flies into Houston or Austin, the only way I can get away with picking her up in an hour or maybe an hour and a half is if I fly her into Corpus and and she flies Delta, Delta doesn't fly into Corpus. So it's an extra ticket to get her there. So I have to decide financially, is it better to pay for the ticket to get her to Corpus or better to actually just drive and get her? So we'll figure that out. If she flies into Houston coming back, I will probably pay for the ticket to get her into Corpus. If she flies into San Antonio or Austin coming back, I'll probably just drive and get her because it's two and a half to three and a half hour drive for those two. Um, That said, you'll see Ecuador next next week. I want to talk a little bit about what is going to be our retirement destination, our first one. We've already decided, even though we haven't been there, and that's Thailand. Now, in May, we're going to spend three weeks in Thailand, and I'll get videos and pictures for you there. But you, you just have to decide what you want to do and how you want to do it. And then more importantly, you have to decide how you can afford it and you have to start planning for it. But that is how, that's what brought us to where we're at, where we want to go travel is entirely possible because we do have the money that we've set aside. Um, In in most second and third world countries, you'll find that rent is, is extremely cheap. And by extremely cheap, I mean, you can find, I saw a video that I posted on Facebook about somebody that rented a a house, a three-bedroom, two-bath house in the boondocks out in in, uh, Thailand uh, for a thousand baht a a month. That's $31. So the exchange rate right now is about 32 to 1 for baht, 50 to 1 for uh, pesos, uh, Filipinian pesos. And so you can kind of, you have to do a little planning. Go out and and look at the countries you're interested in going if you want to travel like we are and figure out what it's going to cost you to live. Um, you know, if I want to drink milk, that's about twice as much money there as it is here. But if I want to eat out, that's, you know, pennies on the dollar. I mean, I can have a really nice dinner for 3 to $5 in the Philippines. Uh, $20 if I want lobster. So the the key thing is that you choose your lifestyle, you choose where you want to go, and then you do a little research on Google 
then you have to decide, can your finances support it? Bad things about going to Thailand, it's a 24-hour flight. I mean, it doesn't take it's about an 18-hour flight, but with uh, stopovers and layovers, it's 24 hours. You're going to take a full day out of your life to get there or to get back. Um, good things, cost of living, makes it cheap. We're flying uh, round trip from LAX, uh, Los Angeles, to uh, Bangkok for, well, about $500 each. So $1,000, and then we used Airbnb, and I paid about $1,000 for three weeks lodging using Airbnb, a fully furnished condo. Uh, it's two bedroom, because my daughters are coming with me, uh, at least my oldest daughter is coming. My youngest may come later, but uh, that'll depend on her finances and her schedule. Um, so there are a myriad of possibilities, but first of all, decide what you want to do. Second. Take an honest look at your finances and see if you can afford to do it. And if not, um, start addressing the shortfalls. Do what you have to do to get your finances to where you can, and then choose a retirement date. And again, retirement date isn't about age. It's purely about money. That's it for Retirement Dreams this week. Next week, you'll get a full-blown story on Ecuador, what we did there, what we saw there, and, and how we liked it. And just so you know, we actually loved it. We don't speak Spanish, and that hurt, but we loved it.